Ah, thank you. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, man, for these wild card playoffs. Real crazy NFL season, real crazy. This is the first playoffs now with six wild cards teams. So, uh, you know, we're going to have six games. I don't know if I said that right, but we're going to have six total games this year. Right. Uh, and we starting off. Indianapolis Colts traveling to, them to the hot Buffalo Bills. The Bills are sitting at minus seven. You know, they won their division. For the first time in a long ass time, yeah. and and they go, you know, they they were voted the their fan base voted the number one fan base in the football. So, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good matchup. You know, you got the Colts with Philip Rivers. Uh, they just plug in a new QB and keep things rolling. They're sitting at eleven to five, eight and eight against the spread on the year, while the Buffalo Bills are thirteen and three, sitting at eleven to five on the year. I know both me and you made a lot of money with the Buffalo Bills. I know that heartbreak in Arizona was a heartbreak, but they should have easily won that game. I was actually on Arizona that game. That oh, one yeah. game. <laughs> that Hail Mary got me paid. But other than that, like you said, we've been rocking Buffalo all season. So let me get into a couple of tendencies for these. In the last three games, the Buffalo Bills is 2-1 and one in this series. Um, the Colts... <clears throat> They're two and four against the spread in their last six games. Uh, the total has gone over eight out of the last 12 games. They are four and one straight up in the last five games. Uh, the Colts are sitting at two and four against the spread in their last six against the Buffalo Bills. But the Colts are eight and three straight up in the last 11 games against the Bills. Uh, let's see what else. The Colts are six and two straight up in the last eight games this season. And four and one straight up in the last five games against the AFC conference. So those are some actual factuals right there and some trends for the Colts. Let me go to the Buffalo Bills. The Bills, eight and oh in the last eight games against the spread. Um, the over has gone eleven out of the last sixteen times. They're six and oh in the last six games. The under has hit seven of the last eight games against the Indianapolis Colts. They're five and oh straight up in the last five games at home. And the five and zero against the spread in the last five games this season. Five and zero against the spread in the last five games against the AFC conference opponent. And those are your actual factuals, man. Some key injuries right now for the for the, for the Colts. Um, of course, a lot of these guys, you know, Buckner, the defensive tackle, he's probable. Uh, let's see here. You got a right tackle holding; he's questionable for the game. A uh, cornerback, Yasin, he's questionable for the game. And a APK. <laughs> Buffalo Bills. Uh, Cody Beasley, he's questionable against this game. The tight end, Croft, he's upgraded to probable for this game. And running back, Gillum, he's questionable for this game. Let me hear what you got. Let me stop talking. What you got, Marley Bits? All right. Um... I got a couple little, you know, actual factuals. Um, start out with Phillip River, just the numbers of the season. Um, he finished the season with a QBR of uh, 62.7. It's like middle of the pack. 24 touchdowns. Actually only threw 11 interceptions this season, um, which is – I probably was a little harder on him this season looking back at his numbers than I thought he actually – Phillip actually had a pretty good season this year. Um Taylor rushed for over 1,000 yards. He had 11 TDs. Uh, T.Y. came on late in the season. Finished the season with five TDs, 56 receptions, uh, 762 yards. On the other hand, Josh Allen, QBR 81.7. 32 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, over 4,000. And to me, the difference maker of the year, Stephon Diggs, 127 receptions, 1,500 yards, eight touchdowns. So to me, like you said, bro, we've been on this. I mean, uh, numbers aside, we've been on this Buffalo squad pretty much all season. I think seven points is way too many points. Um, I think Buffalo wins this game. Um, I can't back the Colts, though, because this offense, if it's not rain, if it's not snowing or it's not windy, this offense is going to produce. I know a lot of people are on this Colts bandwagon with this defense. Last four games, the Colts have are ranked uh, 28th in passing defense, and the Bills is that's what they that's what they do. They throw the ball. They're down. They're not being on. They don't run the ball. They don't have a massive running game. 
it's Josh Allen, it's Stephon Diggs, it's the passing game. And I haven't broke them down to see, like, what they're actually doing to defenses. But whatever they're doing, they're not – defenses aren't stopping it. And I like the over in this game. That's going to be my official play. I won't take a side. If I can get this line to under – to maybe five under that seven, I might take it. But at seven, I can't do a touchdown against an unproven quarterback in the playoffs. Like, everybody steps it up to another level. I don't know if he can step it up enough to where they can cover seven. This Colts team is like, this is a really good team. Um, I hate this matchup just because it's really two really good teams early that probably can beat, not beat the Chiefs, but I like the Colts defense against the Chiefs, and I like the Bills offense against the Chiefs. But I'm going to take the over. Um, it's at 51. Last I seen it, I think that's the I think that's the play. Um, I think the Bills will score, and the Colts are going to have to score. Um, I think if the Colts can hold the Bills to under 24, I, you know, if I, if the Colts win, I probably lose because um, they got to hold the Bills down. But I just don't see them. I don't see them holding the Bills to under 24 points without snow or wind. Um, and so I'm on the over 51 right now. Um, I just don't, man, I've been watching. This offense has not been stopped by anybody, bro. And Stephon Diggs has been eating up everybody and talking shit while he eating up everybody. <laughs> and, like, y'all been watching. <laughs> I be watching him in the end zone. He be talking shit. And – Y'all have been watching that boy Allen since he was at Wyoming. I know y'all have. I really didn't watch him that much. But he been playing in the cold. He been playing in the snow. He big. He strong. Like, I'm not really worried about the – other than the wind affecting his drive on the ball, neither. Like, Phillip Rivers been in San Diego. Like, he been – he not really that used to playing in this kind of weather. Um, I still don't trust him without turning the ball over, even though he had a good season. I'm still just – I think the best play for me is the over. I, uh, I think seven is just too much. I think the Bills win, but I think the Colts possibly could cover. So, I, I'm on the I'm on the total. I'm on the over. Okay. Official play? Official. If it's still at 51, last I saw it at 51, um, I'll put market. Well, the consensus right now has it at 51 and a half. A lot of, a lot of spots in Vegas has it at 51 and a half. Uh, I still take it. Yeah, and that's my fault. The line opened up at six and a half. The over under was at fifty two and a half, and it's gone down right now. Uh, some places online, sportsbetting.com, you can get at 50, 50 and a half uh, right now. But the all the oh, yeah. spread really hasn't yeah. really jumped. The, uh, the spread has been going up and down, and right now it's jumped down to six and a half. Um, I haven't really looked too much into this game, just off of what I've seen. From both teams this year, I'm probably going to want to go with the Colts with the points, man, if I do anything. Yep. The only thing that scares me is a late uh, a late quarter, a fourth quarter turnover by uh, Phillip Rivers trying to force shit. Um, this yep. offense is explosive, but I do like the defense, and I think the running game for the Colts is starting to open up. Not saying they're going to win, but if I if I make, were to make a lean towards this, I'll probably take them Colts. Plus six and a half. So yeah, for sure. No, yeah, I definitely no, no official take, play for me. Right, I definitely would not take the Bills minus six and a half or seven. Probably wouldn't take a minus six. Um, that's just too many points. Like you said, you can easily get a backdoor cover. Um, or you know you could go the opposite way with with like you say, Philip could throw a pick six in the, in the fourth quarter drive going into Queen. the end zone. <laughs> and they only need a field goal. <laughs> like that nigga Phillip would throw that hoe and turn that hoe over. So like that's that's what I'm saying. I see like man, I easily can see 27, 24, which pushes you at 51 over the 50 and a half. I can easily see 30 to 24, um, which still gets you the cover. 31, 27. I can easily see these scores. Um, it's just hard for me to see like a 24, 21 type game and that's the I don't think the Colts are going to be able to hold that offense down like that um so I take the over they're going to have to score I think they score right around 24 points and the Bills just give me three to six more which gives me my total 
over it, but they still could not cover. So I def if anything, like you said, I would lean if, if you're going to pick a side, I would lean Colts plus seven. Um, but my official play is the total. I'm, and I'm and I'm over. As long as you can yes. catch that 50, 51. Gotcha. Well, y'all heard it, man. My boy Marley Bits, his official play. Shout out, shout out to the Reaper, Mikey Total. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mikey Total. Hey, that's his play. The over 51 50. 51, 50, 50. Anyway, just get over that that, that half a point, man. Uh, excuse me. Uh, oh, looks like uh, they just updated the website. Yeah, so a lot of people are still at 51, 51 and a half, man. Hey, you guys be sure to like, subscribe, follow, share, share with your buddies. When we had our last page, we was on fire. Now we got a new YouTube page, but we still have all the other social media platforms. Subscribe to our Twitter, subscribe to our our Facebook, you know, like our Facebook page, get on our Instagram, and again, uh, let's help build back up our YouTube page. This is the coach. This is my boy Marley Betts. You heard it, Coach Buffalo Bills. Let's get to the next game. When I'm in my hood, I feel comfortable. Hit the studio, drop a song too. That's the most drug money going to. They don't know what we're going through. Ducking jacks, flipping packs, smoking gas with the wax hashtag.